Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna show you how to install this oil rubbed bronze, beautiful faucet in the travel trailer here. Uh, this is an Amazon special, $32 for this guy. So stay tuned, we'll go through the steps to installing this. If you're new to the channel, uh, if you could consider liking, subscribing, and commenting on the video, we'd really appreciate it. It'll help push it out to people that also might be looking for this content. So really appreciate that. Thanks again. Let's get started. So with this being a double valve sink, uh, underneath each one of these valves is going to be the water connection for that side, either hot or cold. And then right above it, there's going to be a plastic nut, uh, wing nut, I guess you would call it. it. Holds the faucet down to the surface of the sink. So first we're going to loosen the water supply um, compression fitting and then we're going to loosen the nylon nuts that are underneath here. So let's get under the sink. through the center hole and use the cover plates supplied. And I'll cover the other two holes like so. And then instead of having the two nylon lock nuts underneath, we're going to use this series of connectors. So this will be threaded on that center shaft and then we'll torque it down with the screws from underneath to draw it down tight and obviously the gaskets and the, the clamping plate is right here in the set so the reason why your pull out neck's not connected ahead of time is because it's it won't fit through the hole if it was already connected, so you kind of got to snake these through one at a time. Like that. Last one is the fun one, trying to shove it in with all the other three. my valve on the side so hot will be to the back cold will be to the front it's just it's out of the way because if you had it straight on you're kind of in the middle of the sink so I put it to the side like this or you can do it to the right as well but then hot would be forward obviously cold to the back
so rubber gasket goes on the top so you put that on first nylon ring is second the stainless plate goes on third and then we're going to screw on our clamping um, device last Now we're back underneath the sink. Make sure all our supply lines are to the back behind our hot and cold supply. I can go because it's actually impacting the cutout of the top of the um, counter. So I'm going to leave it right there. Um, find my gap in this plate is which I don't want it to be there. So I'm going to back this screw down so I can spin it, get that plate in the right position. There we go. Okay, so the gap of my plate is uh, towards the back, and my screws are um, left and right of the center line of the faucet. So I'll tighten those down, finger tight first, and then we'll torque them down with the Phillips screwdriver. And that'll draw the um, sink, or the, uh, it'll draw the faucet against the base of the sink, tighten it up.
fittings for the hose of the supply line of the faucet are compression and our supply line um, from the trailer itself is a pipe thread. So this is, I believe, half inch. And then this compression fitting is three eighths compression. Uh, this, here's the adapter right here that I'm gonna use to make the connection. Um, it has the parts, if you were to use this on a standard compression line, which we're not going to, I'm just gonna use it to thread onto the supply for the faucet itself. But, so I'm only gonna put Teflon tape on the uh, hot and cold supply ends coming from the trailer itself. The compression side I'm gonna leave alone. It's inside here there's a, there's a rubber uh, fitting inside the supply of the faucet that'll push against that and actually make that a watertight connection. So thread these on, finger tight, and then we'll hit it with the wrench. Same thing with the cold side. Thread those guys on. Wrap our Teflon tape around this. Nice thing about these lines is they're color coded too. So obviously blue is cold, goes to the blue supply from the trailer. Thread those right in. Like that. So if you don't have these adapter fittings, there's there's no way to, to hook up this system, which is kind of a pain, you know, if you're halfway through hooking it up and you realize you don't have the right fitting. So make sure you get these first. Get the hot side. do down here is on our uh, pull out line that goes up through the faucet we have to put the weight right where this sticker is that helps draw the faucet back in when you let go of it and that's this unit in the kit has two Phillips screws. We'll just clamp it on the hose down here and that'll help pull the hose back in and seat the neck. So I just loosen the two Phillips screws on here. I'll take one all the way out so this will separate. sticker where it says mount weight here and we'll tighten her back down.
pull the hose out and then we let it go. That reseats it up high. install. This hose is nice because it's got a spray and a jet on it. Uh, you can turn the jet on when it actually has water pressure. It'll stay there and then flip back to spray. But I think it looks pretty good. Plate's nice and lined up. My valve is perpendicular to the sink. Hot it would be to the back, like I said. Cold to the front. I'm not currently hooked up on water right now, but next trip we take, I'll bring my tools with me, and if I have any leaks, I'll tighten whatever's left. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers, too. If you're new to the channel, uh, like and subscribe the video, or like and follow. Subscribe to us, and we'll uh, show you some more travel trailer stuff and household repairs and whatever I think of doing at the time. So, thanks again.